Okay, so now let's proceed to the second method in solving the mean of group data, which is the use of the coded deviation. Okay, so when you are using this second method, you're going to use this formula. So this is the symbol for the mean. The AM means the assumed mean. And this is the symbol for summation. The F is the frequency. D is the coded deviation. FD, we are just going to multiply frequency and deviation. And then the I is the interval. So, you read the formula as mean is equal to assumed mean plus the quantity summation of FD divided by summation of F times I. So, let's proceed to our example. And as you can see, our given table here is just the same with the first one earlier. Okay, so I'm going to use the same table just to check whether this method will give the same answer as the first method. Okay, so we have again the column for the interval and then the column for the frequency. And then we have also in the third column the column for the class marks or the X. But we don't have the column for the FX anymore. But we have here the column for D, which means coded deviation, and then the FD, which means we're just going to multiply frequency and deviation later on. Okay, so, and I have prepared another simple seven steps to follow in solving for the mean of group data using the coded deviation. Okay, so, our first step here is to complete the table. Okay, so as you can see, we don't have values for our X, D, and then the FD. And I already taught you a while ago on how to find the class mark of the intervals. Okay, so for 11 to 15, the class mark there is the 13. You're just going to find the middle score in that interval. Okay, 16 to 20, it's 18. 21 to 25, it's 23. 26 to 30, it's 28. 31 to 35, it's 33. And 36 to 40, it's 38. So we are done now with the class mark. Okay, let's proceed to D, which is the coded deviation. Okay, so here's the process. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find first the highest frequency. Okay, so here's the frequency. The highest frequency there is 12. So the deviation of the highest frequency will be 0. Okay, so the highest frequency, its deviation is 0. And then, on the upper, the deviation will be 1. 2 and 3. But below the zero, the intervals below the zero, its division will be negative one and then negative two. Okay, so we are done now with the division also. So let's proceed to FD, which means we're just going to multiply the frequency and then the division. So one times three, it will give you three. Five times two, it's ten. 11 times 1, it's 11. 12 times 0, it's 0. 5 times negative 1, it's negative 5. And then 6 times negative 2, it's negative 12. Okay, so we are done now with completing the table. We are done now with the first step. Next, we need to find the summation of FD. So just like what we did earlier, we are going to add all the FD there. So I'll write summation of FD here. So if you are having a hard time in adding num um, positive and negative numbers, it is better if you are going to add first the like signs. Okay, so like this one, 
they are positive numbers. So, you're going to add first all the positive numbers. So, 3 plus 10 plus 11, it will give you 24. And then, let's add the negative numbers. Negative 5 plus negative 12, it's negative 17. And then, just add the two numbers. 24 plus negative 17, you're going to have 7. So, that's your summation of FD. We're done now with the step 2. Next, step 3, we need to find summation of F. We're just going to add all the F. Okay, so we already answered this earlier. So, the answer is 40. Just add all the frequencies. Next, find the assumed mean. Okay, or the AM. So, in finding the AM, um, again, go back or look at, at the column of the frequencies. Okay, so what is the highest frequency again? It is, oops, it is 12. Okay, and then the X of this, of this frequency is 23. And this will be our assumed mean. Okay, so again, to find the assumed mean, just look at the highest frequency and then whatever the X or the class mark of that frequency, then that is your assumed mean. So, step 3 is done. Next, step 5, we need to find the interval. Okay, so this is easy. So, look at the interval. So, 11 to 15. You start counting from 11 and stop counting at 15. Okay, so I start counting 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many numbers do we have in that interval? We have 5 numbers. So our interval will be 5. Okay, so step 5 is done. Next, proceed to step 6, which is to substitute the values in the formula. Okay, so I'll write the formula here. Mean is equal to AM plus the quantity summation of FD divided by the summation of F times I. Okay, so I'll just substitute all the values here in the formula. Okay, so our AM... So, mean is equal to, AM is equal to 23. So, we write 23 here. Plus, the quantity, summation of FD is equal to 7. So, you write 7 here. Divided by your summation of F, which is equal to 40. Times your I, which is equal to 5. So, you write 5. So, we are done now with step 6, which is to substitute the values. Next, we are going to simplify it. Okay, so to simplify this one, the first thing that you are going to do is multiply 5 to 7. Okay, so I'll just copy the rest. Mean is equal to 23 plus 7 times 5, it's equal to 35 divided by 40. Okay, next one. To simplify this again, you're going to divide 35 by 40. So, 35 divided by 40, it will give you 0 0.875. Okay, next. And the last step here is, we are just going to add 23 plus 0 0.875 and the answer here is 23.875. So, this is the answer. This is the mean. And we have the same answer using the first method. So, okay, let's proceed to our second example. And again, it is the same with the second table a while ago. So... The first step here is we need to complete the table. So, let's find first our class marks or the X. So, the class mark of 66 to 70 is 68. 
71 to 75, the class mark here is 73. 76 to 80, it's 78. 81 to 85, it's 83. 86 to 90, it's 88. And 91 to 95, it's 93. So, we are done now with the class mark. Next one. Let's find the division. Okay, so again, just look or just find the highest frequency. Okay, so here's the frequencies. And the highest frequency here is 9. So, the deviation of the highest frequency is 0. And then, the upper intervals, their deviation must be 1 and 2. And the intervals below, their deviations must be negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Okay, so now let's proceed to FD. So we are just going to multiply frequency and then deviation. So 1 times 2, it's 2. 5 times 1, it's 5. 9 times 0, it's 0. 6 times negative 1, it's negative 6. 6 times negative 2, it's negative 12. And 3 times negative 3, it's negative 9. So we are done now with the first step, which is to complete the table. Next, we need to find summation of FD. So we are just going to add all of the FDs. So again, if you are having a hard time adding with positive and negative numbers, just add first all the positive. Okay, so 2 times or 2 plus 5 I mean, it is 7. And then just add all the negative numbers. Negative 6 plus negative 12 plus negative 9, the answer here is negative 27. Okay. And then, just add the two numbers, 7 plus negative 27, it will give you negative 20. So, that's your summation of FD. So, done with the step 2. Next, step 3, we are just going to find summation of F. So, we are just going to add all the frequencies here. So, summation of F. And we did this earlier. And the answer here is 30. Okay, so we are done now with step 3. Next one, the step 4, we need to find the AM or the assumed mean. Again, you need to find the highest frequency and that is 9. And then, the X of the highest frequency is 83 and that is your assumed mean. Okay, so... For the interval, just count from 66 up to 70. Check how many numbers that belong to that interval. So 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. And our i here is equal to 5. So next, proceed to substitution. Substitute the values in the formula. So we have here the formula mean is equal to am plus the quantity summation of FD divided by summation of F times your I. So, the value of our AM is 83. So, we write 83 plus summation of FD is equal to negative 20 divided by your summation of F which is equal to 30 times your i which is equal to 5. So again, we are done with the step 6 and let's proceed simplifying. Okay, so just multiply 5 to negative 20. So, mean is equal to 83 plus negative 20 times 5, it will give us negative 100 divided by 30. And 83 plus negative 100 divided by 30, it will give us negative 3.33. And for the last step, just add 83 plus negative 
3.33 and the answer here is 79.67 so the mean of this group data is 79.67 so our answer a while ago is 79.66666 if, and if you are going to round it up the answer will be just the same 79.67 okay so that's it i hope you learned something and thanks for watching guys